Good morning, you all. My name is Emma. Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on my video. Uh, it's Friday morning right now. I'm currently heading to do another assessment. I swear this week just has been full of like assessments. Oh my God, the sun is in my eyes. I'm starting my day off with this assessment and then I'm gonna end the rest of my day in the office. I've got plenty to do today per usual, but this is actually a returning assessment for, for one of our residents who had a fall, went to the hospital and got discharged to rehab. We actually thought he was gonna stay there for longer than anticipated. So I'm going to do this assessment. It shouldn't take me long, probably 45 to an hour. And then it takes me about 36 minutes to drive from that rehab to my job. So um, it's gonna be quite a drive, but it's okay. I don't mind. I got lots of stuff to do once I get in the office. I need to answer a few emails, um, follow up with family members. And then also today I'm actually uh, having a staff meeting for all of my med techs. Um, for all of the med techs. It's a mandatory meeting that I thought was really important before the end of the year. Um, there's just a lot of things that I need to make sure that we're all on the same page about, um, especially that we're having such an influx of new residents in our facility. I just wanna make sure that the med techs are okay, just to check on them, get a pulse check on them, see how they're doing, how they're feeling, you know, their thoughts, their concerns, their complaints about, you know, the workflow and then also to just update them on whatever needs to be um, updated on. Oh, I'm so sorry about this lighting. Yesterday we had a the Christmas party. It went so well you guys. It, Santa Claus was there. I'm gonna post a little picture. <laughs> um, I took a selfie with Santa. He was so sweet. His energy was so awesome, but it was fun. Um, it was quite busy. I helped out with like serving drinks and hors d'oeuvres and all that, but I had to leave everything and get some last minute paperwork ready um, for a new resident um, who was moving in. So my, my boss, the executive director needed some of the paperwork. So I had to enter them in the system so that she had access to them. Um, but anyways, today's Friday, I'm so happy. I need to get my nails done. I was thinking of doing like a red. I don't know, I feel like it's on trend and I've been in a mood to have like a like a nice rich red color for the holidays um, to just to give this like, like pink color a break. I, I'm always gravitating towards like the neutrals and the natural pinks, but it's been such a long week. And as much as I want to like recall the entire week for you guys in details, I can't. It's just one of those like you, you guys ever had like one of those really, really, really busy weeks to where if someone was to ask you, oh, what exactly did you do this week? It's like everything, but you can't recall like in detail what it is. I had quite a few assessments to do off-site. I had to handle a few things in a building, family members that are contacting me, all my personal cell phone. And that's another thing. I don't mind family members having access to me via cell phone. But the only thing is that I, you know, I'm subjected to them contacting me on my cell phone and not just my office number. You know, they have requests, you know, of course I'm here. I'm here to help. I'm here to, you know, make sure that their loved ones are taken care of. But it can be overwhelming, especially when I'm not in a position to respond to or to address their issues right then and there because I can literally like be too busy to respond to them and then forget to respond or when I do respond to them, they want another follow up with something else. So it's just like, you know, it, I guess it comes with the territory, but usually if I don't have a chance to address their issues at the moment, when I get off work on my way home, I just answer any um, text messages or respond to any calls, call back anyone that um, that's tried to reach me. But please subscribe. Comment down below if you have any video suggestions, any questions. Are you a nurse or are you just 
stumbling upon my video and you find it interesting. I'm not sure if I said exactly what I do at the beginning of the video. My name is Emma, like I said. I'm an LPN, I've been so for like two years. I'm currently working as a wellness director at an assisted living facility. I love it. Um, I'm, I keep saying that I'm gonna make a video about my roles and my duties and you know a day in the life. I will, I promise, but just to sum it all, I am responsible for managing the care partners, the care team, the CNAs, the caregivers, and the med techs in the building, and also just overall the clinical aspects of the care for the residents in the building. I'm currently the wellness director for assisted living and I also have, there's also another wellness director for the memory care. Um, but when I started this job, actually for about a month and a half, I was the wellness director on both sides because they were still looking to hire someone at the memory care. But essentially that's what I do. There's so much to my job and my role that I literally have to sit down and tell you guys some of it. I always look forward to the weekend just to get a you know, a mental and physical break from my job, even though I'm always on call. As a nurse, you are on call. Um, doesn't matter if it's the weekend, doesn't matter if it's your day off. I I am contacted at any given moment and it just comes with the job. Thank you all so much for watching again. And I will see y'all when I turn my camera back on. Bye. Alright you guys, so I got to the office and like I said, it's Friday morning. So usually every other Friday I have my meeting with my boss, not the executive director, but the regional director of nursing services. And essentially we just go over um, anything that I have any issues with. She checks in on me. If there is any like state reportables that I we need to talk about, that's the time that we usually get to it. Um, right here, you see me writing on this notepad. I am nothing without that notepad, you hear me? So I take it everywhere with me. When I'm walking down the hallways, you're gonna have family members or even staff that let me know last minute things. So it just holds me accountable. I have my to-do list on there and then it just throughout the day, I'm constantly checking off things and it just keeps me um, in check. So I usually in the mornings I get in, we have our morning hurdle with all of management. And then um, I go upstairs and I check on the staff, see how the night shift went, see how the night went, any falls or anything to report to me. And then I come back downstairs and that's when I get started on the computer. Um, I check emails, I update the system if there's any medications from pharmacy that need to be confirmed or discontinued from me, I go ahead and get that done and then I just it's a bunch of following up both with pharmacy family members or providers and then also I have like hospice companies that are coming into our building um, taking care of some of our residents who are on hospice it's currently 5 35 I know I'm supposed to be going home at five o'clock but I'm still here trying to complete a few um, things for my to-do list so that I don't feel like I have to log into my computer over the weekend, even though I know I will. Um, right now, I'm currently working on catching up with care plans that I've had um, to do for all of my returning residents. This weekend or next week, I'm gonna work on care plans and just um, revising them because some residents um, they've returned to our facility um, needing a little bit more assistance so I'm going to work on that uh, I'm so tired I'm ready to go home but I also want to get this out of the way a little bit um, so my goal is to finish entering these assessments on the computer and then I'll go home if anything else needs to be done I'll follow up at home just a quick update the MedTech meeting went well, even though not all of them showed up, at least quite a few, like four of them showed up, which is more than half of, of the whole crew. 
it lasted about an hour. I didn't expect it to be so. Um, there was a lot of, you know, open discussion about certain concerns that they have and that I have. And um, I'm hoping for the best. Um, I'm sorry my energy is a little bit low. I'm like so tired, but um, I'm hoping for the best, you know, hoping that next time I have another meeting, you know, we'll, we won't be discussing the same issues. Hopefully the problems and the concerns that we have will be addressed accordingly and timely. But it went well. Everyone, I think everyone got a chance to express themselves and just um, say whatever it is that needed to be said. But um, let me go ahead and get this done.